Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Rescue Digital Media. Today I am here with 6 quick methods to fix USB tethering not working on Windows 10 PC. But before we get started, like, subscribe and ring the bell icon to notified when our new video lands. USB tethering not working on Windows 10 problem occurs because your tethering might not turned on, using obsolete drivers, exceeded cellular data limit, broken USB cable or corrupt port, firewall blocking the connection, Bluetooth access point is turned off, and misconfigured APN settings. Now, let's move on to fix this with 6 best fixes. Solution 1. Turn on tethering feature. Sometimes, a simple mistake like forgetting to turn on the tethering feature on your smartphone invites the problem. Here is the way to enable USB tethering. Go to your smartphone settings. Click on wireless and networks or connections or something similar. Then, select tethering and portable hotspot or portable hotspot. Tick the tethering option, either Bluetooth tethering or USB tethering, or slide the toggle button to turn it on. Solution 2. Restart your phone and PC Sometimes simply restarting both the PC and phone can fix the issue. Here are the steps to restart your PC. Go to Windows Start. And click on the power button. Next, select Restart option. Then, wait for your PC to restart. Follow the steps to restart your phone. Long press the power button on your phone. Next, Select Restart option. Once restarted, connect your phone again with PC with USB cable and enable USB tethering to check if problem resolved. Solution 3. Try using a different USB cable and port. If after re-establishing the connection, the problem not solved, try using different USB cable and port. Sometimes, faulty cable or port might result in USB tethering not working issues. Solution 4. Run Windows Troubleshooter If it's your PC's operating system that is slacking off, you can rely upon Windows Troubleshooter to fix some common errors. For this, you have to follow the following steps, right-click the Start slash Windows icon, and select the icon to open settings. Choose Update and Security from the options available in the on-screen panel. Choose Troubleshoot from the options present in the left menu. Run the troubleshooter for possibly problematic devices. Solution 5. Update USB drivers. Sometimes Windows' own tethering driver is corrupted and makes the process more difficult than it should be. To fix that, press Windows key plus X and select Device Manager to open it. Double-click Network Adapters. Look for Remote NIS-based Internet Sharing Device Right-click on it and select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers. Click Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Uncheck Show Compatible Hardware. Select Microsoft under Manufacturer. Select USB or die 6 adapter from the right pane. And click Next. Click Yes to confirm your action and proceed. Wait for a while for Windows to install the network adapter drivers. Solution 6. Change APN settings on your phone. APN supplies information to help connect your phone to the cellular data. When tethering won't work, it can be resolved by reconfiguring the APN settings. Here is the guide for you to change the APN settings. Open settings on your phone. Locate and open mobile networks. Then, select Access Point Names. Under General, select the SIM card you use for the cellular data. Next, choose APN Type. Now, type either Default, Done or Done. Select OK. USB Drive Data Recovery Tool. In case you lost any of your USB drive data during the process then use our professional USB drive data recovery tool to restore deleted pictures, videos, or any other media files without any backup. Follow the steps to use USB drive data recovery tool. 
Download, install and launch USB drive data recovery tool on your system and select the drive, external media or volume from which you want to recover deleted media files. After selecting, click on scan. Next, you can preview the recoverable media files after the scanning process is completed. Lastly, you can select the images, audio, video files you want to restore and click on recover option to save them at the location you want. Find its download and user guide links in the below description box. Thanks for watching.